Oh, there you are. Come over here. Just pulling apart an engine. Quite a big job, as you can see. Oh, where has it gone? Oh, I've lost something. I keep putting things down and I can't find it. The place is a bit of a mess. Maybe I need to clean it up and just have a look. Hey, but that's got me thinking of a story I'm going to tell you. Um, hey, come over here. Okay, so, so one day, uh, t about 10 years ago, uh, we were mission workers in Australia and uh, I needed to go and get a job. Well, the money we, we were getting from the church wasn't quite enough. And so I went and got a job at a, as a mechanic at this workshop. Now, first impressions are the best impressions. We want to make really good impressions so the boss likes us. And it didn't start off very well, you see. I was driving to work that very first morning and I got lost in my car. And we started at eight o'clock and now it was half past eight and I was just driving around the city because I couldn't find where the workshop was. Now this was terrible because this wasn't a very good first impression. Anyway, about an hour later, can you believe it, I found the place and I arrived. And the boss looked at me and just shook his head and, well, I couldn't do much, but I told him the story that I was lost. Anyway, he gave me a job of fixing cars and um, I just really wanted to make a good impression. I did everything really well and I was trying to do my best thing all day. It got to the last part of the day and I was fixing a car like this and I was checking everything and checking everything and I was changing the oil and I took a cap off like this and I just placed it down here just placed it like that and went away to do other things and then I came back and I went and did some more stuff and I checked the oil I checked everything yep oil levels fine oh well it's a bit low I might put a bit more oil in it and I came back and I thought oh I better put this cat back on. And I looked around for the cat. Could you believe it? I just put it there. I can't believe it. Where is it? Where's it gone? So I looked around. Looked around. Oh no, I can't find it. Ah. And just then the boss came over and he said, Oh, how's this car going? The person's coming to pick it up very shortly. And um, he needs it tonight. Make sure it's finished. And I said, oh, yes, yes, it's almost finished. Oh, I've just got to check a few more things and it'll be good. And I came back over here and I thought, oh, where's that lid? So I looked around, looked everywhere. Could you believe it? I can't find it. And you know what? Somebody told me once, if you pray for something, you know, God will help you find it. So do you know what I thought? I thought, let's give it a go, shall I? So I said, I didn't want anyone to see me, so I poked my head under the car, closed one eye. I said, Dear Jesus, um, please help me um, find this lid that I've lost, and um, thank you for the trees out there, and thank you for uh, the blue sky, and thank you that you send a bit of rain every now and then. And I opened my eyes. And I said amen, opened my eyes, looked down, and guess what I saw? Nothing! I didn't find anything! Can you believe it? I said a prayer, and I looked down, and I still couldn't find it. So I looked around a bit more. Looked around. Oh, I couldn't find it. Oh, so I thought, oh no, I'll go around and just check a few more things. So I went around and looked under here. And Made sure the windows were clean. Made sure the oils are spoiled. And then I thought, let's go back and have another look for this. So I had a look down here. I looked everywhere. I couldn't believe I couldn't find it. So you know what? I thought I'd say another prayer, shall I? And I said another prayer. I shut both eyes this time. I said, dear Jesus, thank you for my family. Thank you that um, we're here in Australia. Thank you for our church. Uh, thank you for our animals that have been looked after. Um, 
Oh, by the way, um, I've lost um, a lid. Can you help me find it, please? Um, but thank you for everything. Amen. And do you know what? I opened my eyes and I put my hand down and I still couldn't find it. Can you believe it? I thought God answers prayers. And I was getting really frustrated now. I'd finished everything on the car and it was getting time to finish. It was almost five o'clock. And I still looked. I couldn't find anything. I even got under the car, had a look. There's nothing there anywhere. Oh dear. And you know what? It became five o'clock. And you know what? I saw the boss coming from over there. And I knew what he was going to ask me. And he was getting closer. And do you know what I said? I said, Jesus, can you please help me find this lid? And I opened my eyes. And I couldn't believe it. I stuck my hand down again. And there it was. Right where I had been looking. I couldn't find it. The boss came over and said, how's this car going? I said, look at this. It's finished. He can take it away. It's all done. Put the bonnet down. Customer came, picked it up. Waved to him. And I said, goodbye. You know what? God taught me a really important lesson. He taught me that we need to share with God not just the big problems, but the little problems as well. You know what? God says in Matthew 7, 7, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be open to you. Now remember guys, share with Jesus. Share with Jesus as much as we can. He just wants to listen to us and, and hear our problems that he can fix them. So guys, enjoy rest the week. Enjoy the lockdown th level three that we can have a bit more freedom, that we can um, do a little bit more things. Have a good week, guys. See you later.